the one word that describes you, Mrs. Kane? It would depend on who you ask in the school. If you ask my son, he will probably say I am an overbearing, psychotic parent. But if you ask most of the other students or staff, they will say I am a very helpful and caring person. Where did you go to college last high school? If you will. I started out in the Morrisville school system and attended Morrisville High School until my the end of my junior year, at which time we moved to Council Rock and I attended Council Rock High School as a senior. I then went to Millersville University for two years and then Bucks County Community College for one. What activities were you part of in high school? I was a cheerleader from fourth grade with my CYO through my senior year of high school where I cheered for my high school teams. Um, then I played field hockey from seventh grade through my senior year. And I also played softball from when I was in second grade until my sophomore year of college at Millersville. What food can you now live without? I would have to say sweet potatoes with butter and brown sugar. I have sweet potatoes at least twice a week because I think they are the best vegetable ever. Advice you ever received? I think the best piece of advice would be from my father as I was heading off to college at Millersville when he told me that I could party every day for six months at which point I would return home because I would not be allowed to go back to school or I could party once every week for four years and get a good education. Nice piece of advice. For you seniors, I think that's a very good piece of advice. Thank you. When you were little, what did you want to be when you grew up? I always wanted to be a teacher and a coach because I am from a family of educators and coaches. Um, but my brothers are teachers, my father's a teacher, my sister-in-laws are both teachers, my in-laws were teachers, and two of my sister-in-laws are teachers. So, uh, we have a very large family of educators, and that is why I work in the school system now. If you had a time machine, what would you go back to? I would probably go back to 1992, when I was unable to decide what my major was finally going to be since I changed my major four times in two years and I decided to take some time off from school um, until I could find myself and at this point I wish I stayed in school and went with my gut feeling which was to be an art teacher and a coach so go with your gut. What kind of animal represents you? This is an easy one because the animal that would represent me is also my favorite dance, which would be the rooster. My family calls me a rooster, that's my pet name, because I am always pecking on people what to do, where to go, where to have dinner, um, and I kind of get this little strut this. going when I do it. So the rooster would be what I would be. Mrs. Kane, do you have any last words for the class of 2012? Well, yes, I do, Eddie. Since, again, I've watched most of you grow up since you were in kindergarten or maybe before that, um, I wish you all the best as you go off to college. And again, take care of each other. And I will have my tissues ready on Monday at 4 o'clock when I bid you all farewell. Thank you.